Let's talk about web APIs. In this video, we're going to take a look at the geolocation API and create a nifty little hook for uh, getting a user's location information and then doing what you will with it. So if you're looking to integrate with Google Maps or Yelp or things that use uh, users' location information, then I'll show you how to get access to that and then um, you can use that information how you see fit. So this whole uh, page here shows a, a ton of different um, options for web APIs. So I'm going to be referencing this geolocation API here in the code. Um, you can obviously do this in JavaScript. I've got just a, a, a bootstrapped React app here going, and uh, we'll go ahead and dive in. So nothing going on in the React app. In the source directory, I'm just going to create a new um, folder called hooks. And then inside of it, I'll, I'll say use geolocation.js. From here, um, we are going to need a little bit of internal state management. So I'm going to import use state from React. And then I'm going to create my um, my hook. So I'm going to export this as a named export. So export const use geolocation. And this way, um, I'm exporting this so I can use this hook wherever in my application if I need to use it in multiple places, for example. So first, uh, I want to manage the location information that I get back upon a successful request. So I have location info and set location info, and I'll uh, initialize that as null. And then there is the potential that we get errors as well. So I'll do location error, set location error equals use state, and I'll also start that off as null. So the um, the geolocation API has a method called get current position, and that's what we're going to be using here. It's going to return um, some information. Um, specifically, we're going to be looking at um, some coordinates. So uh, with that in mind, we can access that geolocation object off of the navigator object. So we can say const geolocation equals navigator then from there we'll define our success function so our success function is going to have a response and uh, just so that we can see what's happening we'll console log the response and then we'll set our location information to the coordinates of the response uh, which is abbreviated as chords from that API. Next, we'll define an error function. So this is basically what, like, you can show a message like, hey, your uh, location permission is, is set to blocked or some other, like, uh, we had issues um, accessing your location. You can refresh the page, things like that. So we'll have our response again. And uh, again, We'll just console log this so that we can see the full response in action. And then we'll set our location error to uh, the response.message. If we don't have any uh, location errors and we don't have any location info, that means that we have not requested the information yet, so we can go ahead and call the get current position uh, method. Otherwise, we don't want to keep calling it over and over and over again. Once we have it in state, then we're we're good to go. So, geolocation we referenced up here. Dot get current position, and then we pass in the success function and the error function, and then in order to uh, return this so that this can uh, this information can be used in other components throughout the app we'll return an object with the location error and the location information so we've exported it we've set it all up 
Let me bring this out to the side. And zoom in a little bit so we can hopefully see it a little bit better. And I'll zoom back out because I'm working with limited space here. So now if I go into, we can just do this in app.js, but obviously you would do this in whatever component um, that you're using this hook. We can import from hook slash use geolocation. And then we're going to uh, call use geolocation and we're going to access the two things that we set up, the location error and the location info. So look, uh, we have to call it, and then IntelliSense should help us out with that as well. So we use geolocation, location info, and location error. And then let's console log those as well. Location error and location info. So now, You'll notice that I got this pop-up that says uh, localhost wants to know your location. So let's see, first of all, we can see that error and info are both null. So let's let, see what happens when we block. So we're getting some responses. We have a location error saying that the user denied the location. So that's the, uh, if you remember from the hook, uh, we are setting the location error to the message. We can see the response as well, and it has a message and a code. Um, so you can take a look at the geolocation position error docs um, to, to reference the codes and the messages. Uh, there's only three of them last time I checked, um, but if you want to do anything, any uh, more specific error handling based on the specific codes or messages, um, then you can go ahead and do that. Um, obviously, nothing is showing in the UI here. You could take the message and show like a little snack bar message or some text on the screen or something like that. Um, but this, again, is just to, uh, to illustrate what is available with the geolocation API. So um, what we can do is go back and we can say reset permission. So you can turn it on or you could just reset it and it's like, uh, it'll say, okay, you can, we're, we're back to square one. You can ask for permission, you can accept or, or block it again. So now if we refresh the page, now if we allow it, we can see that now we have location info that has uh, a bunch of different information here. Um, we're typically, uh, I've used the latitude and longitude for, for things like, um, you know, finding nearby, whatever it is, coffee shops or basketball courts or whatever that, uh, may be. You can also see that the, uh, response, um, has a timestamp and then the coordinates. So not a whole lot of extra information, um, than what we put in our location info. Remember, we put uh, the response dot coordinates as our actual location info. So that's showing here. And then up top, we can see that the geolocation position. Uh, has coordinates and a timestamp. So if that timestamp is helpful for you, uh, maybe you want to like save the last time you checked the user's location in like local storage or as a cookie or something like that. And then if it is X amount of time past the initial time that you checked, maybe you need to check periodically to, to make sure that they're in the same location or that their location hasn't changed or things like that. So a uh, lot of cool stuff with web APIs. This geolocation has a, a lot of powerful uses um, that you can integrate with your application. So if you've got questions, um, definitely first place to look is the documentation, but if you got questions, feel free to drop them in the comments as well. So thanks for following along and, uh, until next time, have a good one.